Hello, dear partners. This autumn season is a traditional time of calls and because overcooling serves as a provoking factor because of which body spends energy to fight the cold, the cold's temperature, and therefore it re reduces the strength to fight bacteria and viruses. But it is possible and almost necessary to help the immune system during the period of illness. So, because prevention is always better than cure. In addition to hypothermia, many of many factors of daily life affect our immunity. So, as we all know, stress is one of them. Whilst medium stress actually uh, activates immune system functions, severe stresses uh, stress suppresses immune system functions. And I think we have um, a lot of stress. Everyone, everyone has a lot of stress. Then we have lack of sleep. Apparently, people who sleep less than six hours a day, just me, uh, get sick five times more than the ones who sleep seven or eight. Now that I take all the all the supplements and all of these immune boosters, so that is not true for me. Then we also um um. We can take um, toxins through bad habits like smoking and alcohol and also um, foods that is not nutritious because our little lifestyle is so fast paced that we don't have time to cook um, healthy meals from scratch and we just grab something on the way. And of course, the food might not be as nutritious as our body would like it to be. And also, then also we have the uh, environmental factors like pollution that you can't help, and they all add to these, uh, to immunity, it weakens our immunity. So let's take a test. If you think that we are, um, we have low, weak immunity, we're going to ask some questions that you can ask yes, yeah, answer yes and no to. So, do you catch colds more than two or three times a year? Or you can answer yes or no. And then, do you have difficulty recovering from illnesses? Yes or no. Do you get herpes, allergies, fungal infections? Yes or no. Are you addicted to bad habits? Yes or no. Do you constantly lack sleep? Uh, feel tired, apathetic or irritable, yes or no? And do you have too much physical activity or, on the contrary, don't move enough? Which is me again, yes or no? I answered um, no as well. And if you answer, if you, even one positive answer shows that your immune system is weakened and it needs support. So the green range, immunity support, is the prevention of SARS is very broad. Well up, like um, on the left-hand side, that is our wellness lab, laboratory. And then there are essential oils, and today we'll focus on many of these products in more detail. What are What is chaga? Does anybody know what chaga is? If you do, you can put it in the, in the chat. Mushroom. It's a mushroom. Yes, chaga is a type of mushroom. It's a type of fungus that grows mainly on the bark of birch trees in cold climates, such as Northern Europe, Siberia, Russia, Korea, Northern Canada, and Alaska. It is also known by other names, such as black moss, clinkle polypore, birch conkle polypore, or, or sanda conkle. It's a drink of the Wella line, and it's um, based on the premium extract of a wild Siberian chaga. Now, this one is very uh, um, effective because its um, extract has a concentration of beta glucans and polysaccharides five times higher than the conventional ground chaga. One serving contains 200 milligrams of pure extract, so three cups contain 600 milligrams of the extract. Now this is active prophylactic dosage. 
so for for our immunity what we dosage that we need how we take it but if you don't do you confess we put one of the don't tell me capsules in a cup perhaps, perhaps, in perhaps. hot water but not boiling and enjoy enjoy the drink it's actually has, has a lot of done. um properties really valuable ones the value of chaga is that it's got it's a unique mushroom which in russia was called pantia for hundreds of ailments it was used to treat colds stomach disorders and tumor diseases chaga increases the body's resistance to viruses i am in particular viruses of influenza papilloma which is human papilloma virus hpv uh, herpes not very nice herpes and throat virus as well, which um, causes diarrhea. It also accelerates the removal of toxic substances from the body and supports liver function. It has adaptogenic and tonic effects. So not just, um, it doesn't just treat the, the actual disease, but it makes us feel better about even when we are unwell. So this drink is also recommended for people who are recovering from infections, um, stress, or high density loads. Also, it's um, additionally it includes zinc, vitamin C, D, and rutin, and they are all necessary properties for the immune system. Another one, which is one of my favorites, is vitamin D. We have vitamin D3, type because it's D has got one to is uh, one subtypes one two three four five now according to experts vitamin d3 deficiency occurs in more than 80 percent of the population of the northern um, hemisphere latitudes countries and why is that it's because when sun uh, reaches or the extra uh, the UV rays, ultraviolet rays, reach Earth's surface. In that period, there is no UVB lights because we have UVA and UVB. So UVA is ultraviolet, um, ultraviolet, um, and that causes aging. So UVA and ultraviolet B, which is ultraviolet for burns, and it's because this UVA. I um, mean, they both obviously got um, this um, exposure to these rays cause, can cause skin cancer um, because UVA can even get through um, the glass. UVB cannot. And UVA gets through two layers of the skin. So you get um, top one and the middle one and UVB only to the top one. Now, then vitamin D3 is converted from, from exposure to this UVB light. Now, UVB doesn't really, um, doesn't get to our surface in those months. Therefore, we need to take supplements for this, for this vitamin uh, because it can, otherwise it can lead to frequent colds, chronic fatigues, uh, bone aches and muscle pain which we wouldn't even think of if you have muscle pain or we've got some kind of, um, you know, like our eggs, um, legs ache or something, then we wouldn't even put it down to deficiency of vitamin D or D3. But yeah, it could be. So vitamin D3 also promotes production of the happy hormone or hormone of joy, serotonin, and therefore it also helps our autumn mood. You know how it gets dark, people always get a bit lethargic and, and moody. Vitamin, this vitamin D3, particular one, contains 600 international units in one capsule. There are 120 capsules. And ideally, if you can, it's the best to take a test, 25, hydroxy vitamin D, um, D test um, to your doctor or, or somewhere at a clinic 
where then doctor could determine the proper dosage needed for our for us. But in general, experts say that 600 international units is the minimum dosage that is needed for adults. Um, but our so our product is easy to dose because it's got one capsule of the minimal dose, but 1,800 to 2,400 international units, which is about three to four capsules, um, is, is mostly what people need or can take. For children, maximum recommended dose is 400 international units. So this, this dosage is um, suited, suitable for adults. However, if your pediatrician recommends higher dose, then of course um, your child can take that as well. Our complex has an advantage as well over the pharmacy ones. And that's because most of the vitamin Ds that you buy over um, in pharmacy um, contain uh, sunflower or the best olive oil and because vitamin d3 is a fat soluble vitamin it requires fat for its absorption and our product includes mct oil which is medium chain triglyceride triglycerides from coconut oil it's a precious natural component uh, good for the heart and blood vessels as well as for activating energy metabolism. So if you think that it's, um, it's uh, needed, then definitely recommend this one over any um, other ones in the pharmacy. Then we have also vitamin C complex in our range. And it's these which we know, everybody knows vitamin C. It's um, very, very common and well-known for everyone. It strengthens the immune system. It helps the body to cope more quickly with various pathogens uh, during recovalence. Thanks to the intake of vitamin C, you can quickly get rid of the manifestation of the disease. Now, why is our C... It's not just vitamin C, it's called C complex. It's, and why does it again differ from other vitamin Cs that you buy over the or, over in pharmacies? It's because mostly if you get vitamin C at a pharmacy, uh, these vitamin Cs are come in form of ascorbic acid only. So in this form, our body gets a short, short term effect even if a large dose is taken at one time. And in particular does not stick around and does not accumulate. However, in our C, com C complex, vitamin C is presented in three forms. So it contains ascorbic acid, as well as calcium ascorbate, which is, um, contains calcium as well. And it's, um, it's a non-stick acid type of vitamin C, which is a, it's gentler on the stomach. It's more gentler on the stomach than um, ascorbic acid. So you don't have the, that kind of symptom that if you overdose on vitamin C, you don't have a diarrhea. So this calcium ascorbate actually prevents it. And then also it contains ascorbyl palmitate. And that is, um, again, because in every, every cell in our body is made of um, lipid bilayer that can be shielded by fat-soluble anti antioxidant. So it's much easier to utilize in human cell membranes. So this oil, or this ascorbic palmitate, palmitate is that, is that um, type of oil. So it's actually... Um, it's mostly occurring uh, fatty acid and it's so it sticks around and absorbs absorbs um, much better so these bioflavonoids as it says it improves the um, absorption by 30 percent 
also the dietary supplements include routine, dehydroquercetin, and citrus bioflavonoids. So plant component, these plant components can help improve the absorption of vitamin by 30% and also help strengthen blood vessels, capillaries, improve tissue regeneration, su support microcirculation and gum health. So again, um, very effective and good quality supplement, vitamin C. Another one is Vela Ancaria, Ancaria, which is a plant, plant complex of the basis of Ancaria. Its second name is Peruvian Iliana's cat claw. Cat claw. So everybody probably heard of it. It's very well known plant again because the history of um, using the healing properties of this plant dates back more than 2000 years when even Amazonian tribes used the bark of the liana and for med medicine per med medicinal purposes such as asthma, inflammation of the urinary system, hemorrhages, gastritis, arthritis, rheumatism, and in the tre treatment of um, human diseases. So it's very broad spectrum. Under the influence of the active substances of Ancaria, which is the process called phagocytosis, uh, it's a process in which immune system cells absorbs, so immune system absorbs all the pathogens, all the bacteria, like bacteria, toxin, and other foreign harmful substances. So the absorption is much improved by taking these. Strengthening of phagocytic level of immunity due to this action of the plant can explain, for example, why there is reduction of clinical signs of stomach ulcers. Oncaria dietary supplement can be taken as part of treatment for of um, flu, SARS, rotavirus again, and infection, infections and herpes as well. And another one, which is recommended in this, um, this time of the year is Wellab B complex. And again, yet again, you can see it's B complex. So it's not just a, a single type of B vitamin. Uh, it is very important, in, extremely important for the brain, nervous system, cardiovascular system, and immunity. Because B vitamin strengthens the immune system, which is um, especially needed in, in case of physical stress, such as after surgery or injury. If the levels of these vitamins drop, the body's ability to produce antibiotics bodies to fight infections is marked, mark, markedly reduced. Vitamin B deficiency leads to decreased concentration, attention, mood swings, and chronic fatigue. In times of stress, the consumption of B vitamin is higher. So the cause of vitamin B deficiency can be unbalanced diet, frequent consumption of processed foods, sugar, and the absorption of vitamin B also is impaired by take, taking alcohol, coffee, smoking, and all certain medications. But this vitamin B complex is a comfortable way to get these vitamins daily. Uh, for your convenience, uh, we divided capsules into two intakes, which is morning one and evening. Uh, the evening capsule capsule also uh, contains not just these vitamins B5, 6, 9, and 12, D, biotin, copper, but also it's tryptophan and valerian extract, which is um, tryptophan is uh, amino acids, which is needed for the production of most proteins that our body needs and they, our body cannot produce it. So it has to be consumed in the diet. 
and valerian extract that's um uh, that is a tall flowering grassland plant that helps um helps us to fall asleep and reduces the amount of time we fall asleep as well and gets rid of the well helps us to have a nice sleep without any kind of nightmares or uh, interrupted sleep that is why uh, these two this vitamin b complex is divided between morning and evening capsules and because also, also obviously these um are help to regenerate our body when the body's at calm calm state in at night very very effective again very different from what you get in pharmacies over the counter now last but not least are the sham essential oils this line uh, completes our immunity support package uh, talking about essential oils is um, something when i when we did a presentation we i think we did like three one hour long videos or presentations so there is so much that we can talk about them but we will just go um just mention briefly um some of them because the the benefits and the properties uh they have to have our body elements they're obviously plant extracts from various parts of plants that um are 70 times uh, more concentrated than the actual um the actual extract so they're very very effective and if um with the correct correct use really you should um find out more about it but these uses we will give you some tips and recommendations on how to use um some of them so the first one we'd like to talk about is um tea tree oil which is known for its ability to inhibit uh, the reproduction of pathogenic bacteria and viruses. So it's, um, um, and bacteria that are not able to develop resistance to it. So it can be used for a long time. So it's very effective for cleaning, um, disinfecting surfaces in the room, door handles. Um, by doing this, you can, I mean, to do this, you can simply add a couple of um, drops of oil into half a litre water for wet cleaning. Um, I have this spray as well where I put um, our washing strip together with um, misty powder that is, that's been already diluted. And then I put a few drops of um, tea tree oil or lemongrass oil for cleaning. And it's beautiful. It smells so nice in the bathroom and um, mostly in the bathroom where I use it. And it's so much nicer than all the harmful chemical sprays that we or tend to use. I don't. <laughs> so you can um, also use tea tree oil for rubbing. So for example, if you add five drops of oil to half a teaspoon of heated vegetable oil, some kind of base oil, then you can rub it on the painful area and cover it with warm blanket for 15 minutes. Because it's yeah, improves skin regeneration. Another one, which is um, very effective, is cedar essential oil or cedar wood. It has been used for medical purposes since the ancient Greeks. It is rich in phytoncides, which is a volatile compound with a pronounced antibacterial effect. They have a beneficial effect on our respiratory organs. Uh, and strengthen the immune system. So to prevent flu or influenza, essential oil of cedarwood can be added to aroma lamps or in um, diffuser to disinfect the room. So for 15 square meters, which is an average room, you can use um, four to seven drops and it will disinfect that area. If you can use it in combination with tea tree oil, but to one to one ratio, you're very powerful together. 
another very sharp essential oil, essential and effective oil is juniper. It has a, you know, it's a really bright pine aroma with pleasant woody, woody smell. It has disinfect again disinfectant effects and it's useful and it's very useful for the respiratory tract. So well known for the from the fact that ancient healers used to store threads in juniper oil to stitch up wounds. Uh, juniper you can inhale in case of bronchitis or pneumonia. So you can add four to five drops of juniper oil in about half a litre of water. And in addition, you, um, juniper oil has a positive effect on the nervous system. So, which is very important also because the activity of the immune response is closely related to our emotional mood. Any relaxation treatments with essential oils will benefit um, the immune system. You can apply one drop of um, oil behind the ears as well before going to sleep to improve the process of falling asleep, which I can prove because my daughter couldn't fall asleep and she said she had difficulty falling asleep and she had um, nightmares as well. So I put this oil in the diffuser for a few minutes before she fell asleep and then she fell asleep really easily and also she didn't have any nightmares. Another very calming oil is lavender oil, which most of us know that everybody's heard of lavender oil. This fragrance seems to be, um, it's, it's a kind of sweet floral, floral base with wooden, but kind of undertone. This soothing oil, which promotes uh, deep meditation, relaxation, uh, restoration of inner strength is a fragrance that promotes also self-knowledge and self-development, bringing a sense of purity, healing, and happiness. You can use lavender oil to achieve inner harmony, balance, um, eliminate depression and anxiety. It brings clarity and calmness to thoughts and um, emotions. Fragrance of lavender is a must for every Emotional people, it will help you calm and relieve tensions with people like emotional or hyper. It will really help calm this tension. Um, all of these products are on special offer this weekend. So it's today and tomorrow. Um, and other types of oil that are um, on special offer at yeah, a very nice price, are geranium. Geranium, which is a beneficial effect on metabolic processes and cell regeneration. Then also yin-yang essential oil, which is beneficial effect on the cardiovascular and digestive system, helping to relieve cramps and increase blood circulation. And then another one that is on special offer is eucalyptus essential oil. And that one is beneficial for immunity and for respiratory organs. And it's used to clean the air from bacteria and infections. So do you agree that it is necessary to strengthen our immune system comprehensively? These are other essential oils that are on offer. It is definitely um, cheaper to strengthen the body and prevent from other diseases than cure it. So thank you very much. We are at the end of um, the presentation for most effective products that are on offer for this time of the year. Thank you for your attention and good health to you all.